we've been determined to blaze our own path in higher education, not to just emulate what somebody else is doing, but to be the very best James Madison University that we can be, and to combine the best elements that you see in small liberal arts colleges and large research universities, but into something that's unique and our very own. And that's, I think, a very powerful place for us to be in American higher education. It gives us a very strong and specific brand, if you will, in higher education. So we talk about this idea of being a national model of the engaged university, engaged with ideas in the world. That is the vision statement now that we have going forward. And the question is, how do you do that? How do you become a national model? Now, let me add a few thoughts uh, about the three pillars of engagement as we go forward, because it's important that people understand what we mean by this concept of engagement. And it starts first with engaged learning, engaged learning. This is not passive learning where you're just taking notes in the back of a classroom. This is really about active transformational practices that we know make a high impact on students. And there are a variety of these practices that we have studied and others around the country have studied. And in every college and in every major across JMU, we are now asking ourselves how can we build on these high impact practices to make sure that no matter what your major, no matter what courses of study you're taking, that you will have a high impact experience. The second pillar of engagement that I want to just mention briefly is community engagement. So we talked about engaged learning, we also have community engagement and then civic engagement. And community engagement really is how we can work in partnership and in collaboration with people and organizations around us to address the big and important challenges of our time. And there are lots of examples of this. You probably know about the big event, for example, which, by the way, alumni participate in all around the country and, indeed, all around the world, including at some of our study abroad sites. We have alternative spring breaks for one of the nation's leaders in that program as well, where students, instead of going to the beach, are actually going uh, and working on service projects, which might be around the state, around the country, or even, in some cases, around the world. So, that kind of community engagement is very important to us, and it's sort of the opposite of the isolated ivory tower. This is JMU getting out into the world, getting our hands dirty, and working with others. And then there's the third pillar of engagement, which is civic engagement. We want students to understand not just their rights as citizens, but their responsibilities as citizens in the 21st century. But I want to leave you uh, with this thought, which is actually a sign in my office, uh, I talk to all of the incoming students about the importance of dreaming big, about their futures, about their potential as they come to the university. And now it's time, I think, for all of us, as we have a new strategic plan, to dream big together for the future of the university. We have a vision and we have a plan, and now we need the resources and we need the teamwork to make it happen, and I'm very confident that we can do that.